Hi, it's Ian here. Welcome to another 5-Minute Marketing Tip. You know, I'm sure it's not just me who occasionally sits down to write a blog post or an email or another piece of content and finds myself staring at a blank screen, completely unable to come up with an idea for what to write about. Well, in today's 5-Minute Marketing Tip, if, you're, if you suffer from that problem, I'm going to give help you create 100 ideas for what to write about for blog posts or articles or to create videos or podcasts about. So I'll see you after the break. Hi, uh, welcome back. So 100 ideas, that's very ambitious, but completely doable. And uh, I'm going to do it by borrowing from a guy called James Altucher, who you might know um, is the author of the Choose Yourself series of books. And in those books, one of the things James recommends is a thing that he does as part of his daily practice, um, which is where he writes down 10 ideas a day. Now, it doesn't really matter what those ideas are about. The the, the, the goal is to kind of develop your, your creativity muscle so that when you need it, you've got the ability to come up with ideas on tap. But I thought, well, why not you use those 10 ideas a day and, and create them about what to write about, blog posts to write or articles to do or videos I could make. And it works really, really well. But rather than just sitting down with a blank sheet of paper and trying to think of 10 ideas covering completely you know, any topic, um, completely out of, the, out of thin air, it's actually best if you restrict yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you 10 topic areas that you're going to come up with 10 ideas in. So 10 areas, 10 ideas each. And by restricting your thinking, it becomes much easier. So if I asked you to write, to come up with a list of 10 ideas for blog posts, you might be going, oh, well, ugh. but if I said, um, come up with 10 ideas uh, for blog posts based on 10 things that you wished you'd known when you started your business, it's a lot easier for you to come up with a list of 10 things you wished you'd known when you started your business because it's much more concrete. Uh, so putting those restrictions on really helps. And that's the first of my uh, 10 topics, 10 things you wish you'd known when you first started your business. For me, it would be stuff like knowing the difference between uh, marketing for small businesses and large businesses, which is what I've been used to, um, knowing the importance of follow-up, knowing how to kind of conquer my fear of actually talking to people. So a whole bunch of lessons I've learned um, and that I wish I'd learned, I'd known when I started my business up um, eight years ago. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to turn each of those ideas into an article. You don't have to use all of them, um, but, you, but each of them potentially becomes an article. And what you do is you make sure it's quite client focused and it's a useful piece of advice for your audience, your potential clients. Topic number two, 10 things I learned in the last 12 months. Um, topic number three, 10 people who've inspired me and why. And again, you're going to turn it into lessons that you can share with your audience that they would find useful. So it would be people who've inspired you in certain ways. You know, if you're a leadership coach and you're sharing leadership tips, it would probably be 10 great leaders. And you pick each of them and, you know, what I learned from Winston Churchill or why, why Winston Churchill inspired me and what you can learn from his leadership. You might want to pick people who aren't as obvious of that, who haven't been covered a hundred times before. The 10 most interesting articles or books that I read in the last, uh, that I've read recently. Now, what you'll do there is you'll build on those articles. So you might um, kind of agree with the point of the article and build on it and give some, some more of your own ideas, or you might disagree with the article. Um, but in both cases, what you would do is you'd credit the original article. You'd use it as a springboard, but you'd credit it and link to it. Uh, the 10 mistakes I've made that you should avoid. If you've read um, lots of my emails, you'll know I'll often go back to mistakes I've made in the past um, and lessons I learned from them and share them um, so that my readers don't make the same mistakes themselves. 10 businesses I admire and why. You may have seen my uh, blog post about Anita Roddick in the Body Shop, for example, and some things I learned from that. Um, 10 ways I've changed my business or 10 ways I've changed my life, if that's the kind of topic that you write about, um, and what you can learn from them. 10 things my clients are doing that I think are exceptional. Now, those are really great topics for articles and blog posts because it gives you a chance not only to share some content with your readers, but also, of course, to share um, and promote your actual clients. So they'll be really pleased about that. Obviously, you need their permission to write those things. 10 things I learned from watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Now, obviously, in your case, what you do is you pick your own favourite TV show or film or book or radio show, and you'd write 10 things you learned from that. Again, each of those 10 things could form an individual article in its own right. 10 things I learned from my kids. Or if you haven't got kids, 10 things that you know my parents taught me, or 10 things that my friends taught me, or 10 things my wife taught me. Um, but someone you know and what were the lessons you've learned from them.
So there you have it. Those are 10 topics. For each of those 10 topics, you can come up with 10 ideas for blog posts and articles. My suggestion is you just pick one of those a day for the next few days and spend 10 minutes. That's all it's really going to take and brainstorm 10 um, topic, 10 ideas for articles based on that overall topic. It's relatively easy. It actually gets your creativity muscle going in the same way that James Altucher is pushing you to learn. So you become more creative as a result. It's a great exercise, but it also, of course, gives you a list of 100 articles. That's kind of a year's worth for most of us that we can then just use. So whenever we're staring at that blank sheet of paper or blank screen, we're really struggling from an idea. We just grab one um, and we can use it straight away. We don't go through that off blank screen moment. Bonus points, come up with your own list of 10 topics that you come up with 10 ideas in. And if you want, post it in the comments section below. That's it for this week. See you next week.